Hello, welcome. Welcome back to Send Him Off. Uh, this is our last episode of the season. It's been, uh, it's been a funny old season uh, for us. My name is Sam and joining me, as always, is my ever-present podcasting partner, Alex. What a ride it's been this season. Oh, what a ride it's been. And what a way to end it. I'm, I'm genuinely it. so excited. I, I can't wait to get into this episode, so I'm going to do no more talking. Sam, do the introduction because yeah. I'm, I'm very happy. Uh, those of you who listen to the pod will know that m- myself and Alex are big Swansea City fans. And uh, we're joined by a, a club legend today, uh, an icon of of our childhood, I think, wasn't it, Al? Definitely. 100%, 100%. Uh, Mr. Ferry Border, thank you very much for joining us. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. It's uh, nice to be here. So, uh, uh, yes, my, my first time I've been a Zoom meeting, as, as I told you. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, my English is a little bit uh, worse than, than it was before, but uh, I try my best. Oh, it's, no, it's all right. right. Don't worry. worry. Don't worry. Don't okay. worry. I, I have to deal with my, Alex every week. My English isn't great <laughs> half the time either. It's fine. Don't worry. Um, so, okay. f- first of all, Ferry, I, I just want to ask you about um, the season just gone. Um, I don't know if you still ke- kept up with the Swans. And, every uh, year. And, uh, yeah, every year. Definitely. Every year. We what, love uh, that. What, what yeah. were your thoughts on the season? This season? Um, no, I, I think uh, uh, Swansea is now at the, at the moment a club uh, that... Um, um, uh, yeah, it, they they play good football, I think, you know. But it's uh, I just sp- spoke to it with uh, with one of uh, uh, some people out of out of Swansea, where I was with, and uh, was you Lake. Uh, I, I spoke with him about uh, how it goes now at Swansea, but it's it's a, a different style, I think now. So it's uh, nowadays. Um, but I think, uh, yeah, uh, the last day of the. I was still hoping that they were getting into the in the yeah. playoff, but it was not happen, of course. But uh, uh, yeah, uh, I think they need more of uh, how do you call it? My, my, my English, so because uh, <laughs> you know that they have more experience in the team. Yeah, uh, yeah, a few older squad. players. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Squad. yeah. and I think a, a mix of culture uh, should be also good. I think because with foreign players, you get uh, you get you have the mix with when I was at Swansea. Uh, Roberto Martinez get some Spanish players, some Dutch players, some players from Trinidad and Tobago, you know, uh, everywhere around the world. And it was a, yeah, I, I think a, a good mix of all playing styles of uh, other countries. And I think that makes it different in the, in the championship. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. You can see that. I see that with and Sham, um, Olivia and Sham. I think he just brings something to the team which. Yeah, just, there's a certain yeah, spark. Same with when on, spark. Andre Ayew was there. Um, we've yeah. got you know the likes of Joel Piro as well. Yeah. Yes. It's nice, to, you know, we, we've got a few of your Dutch boys in here as well. It's, it's good to see. But there's yeah. not as many foreign players at, at the time now, just no. I think because of finances and other, other reasons. I, You know, we don't really know a lot about it. I'm sure perhaps you know more than we do. But Yeah, um, yeah, there's, yeah. More, there's more money involved now in, in the days when I, when I joined Swansea because we were all uh, cheap players. We come for uh, <laughs> free, I think. <laughs> Um, you were but cheap, but you, there was class. There was too much yeah. class to be had there. I'm not having that. It, but it was all natural, you know. <laughs> I think the difference is uh, when I when I came to to Swansea for the first time, I played my first uh, first game against Oldham, and I, I get a ball, ball played in from the from the defense, and I saw how many space I have in my back. So uh, they always play long balls in the UK, you know. Uh, yeah. that, that's the typical style of lower league. Yeah? There was League One at the moment. So I saw that uh, that that they were expecting expecting that our defense play the ball long, and we get a we, yeah we get the ball on the floor to play around, uh, and that makes it different if you have players who who can do that. And I, I was a player who can play the ball. Uh, on the floor together with Jordi Gomez or uh, yeah, Leon Britton. Uh, he was a he was a UK you know an English player, but Joe Allen uh, he's still there. Huh? Um, yeah. And then we have uh, you know th- those kind of players, you know, like Tiki Taka. Uh, it was uh, it, it makes a difference, I think. But yeah, uh, I think the the the, the future I, 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 is there is there already a new manager. Uh, no, we don't not know yet. yet. Not, yeah, not we, yet. We still got the old one in the minute, but yeah. it doesn't look like he's staying. <laughs> oh, I thought he was uh, left already. No, it, it looks like he's going to go. It's, but it's all nothing, but certain. Uh, yeah, nothing's okay. official as yet. You don't fancy but, a job down the Swans, you ferry? You don't fancy coming down? I always, I always <laughs> fancy a job, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not. Uh, I, I've been there now a few times. Uh, every year I come over, uh, and then I. Uh, 
yeah, you always speak about uh, to to come over. I, I just said uh, two years ago, I said I want to go back to Swansea, even I have to work for Domino's Pizza. You know, so uh, <laughs> yes. we're always happy to have you back. I I I couldn't think of anyone better to have, honestly. No, no, thank you very much, but. No, no, no. I, I have uh, a lot of experience at uh, at coach, coaching here in Holland, but uh, uh, yeah, last couple of years I uh, I do I done something with my brother and uh, uh, and stuff, you know, like uh, normal people do working. So um, uh, yeah, that's 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 the difference in in football. Yeah, it's all uh, football always gonna attract me, you know, to to do something. But yeah, uh, yeah. if they call me, I definitely come. But I don't have the papers. There we are. Right, Sam, City, are we are get, we gonna make something get happen? That contract out now. <laughs> Let's make something happen. Get that contract <laughs> out. <laughs> Definitely. Um you mentioned some of the teammates you played with then uh throughout Can the I years. just say when when you were talking about the teammates, my I was I was my face was beaming, the smile yeah, that, on my face listening to I, that. Oh my gosh. I got, I got goosebumps now when you say that, you know, because it was there was a yeah, it was a great time and yeah, small things like a, a Christmas song, you know, together with the boys, and then, oh my uh, gosh, the yeah, day, and then then the next day we go uh, off to the pub, then the night before, and then then the day after we we, we won <laughs> a, a, a three 0 in Portville, you know, uh, it, it was <laughs> it was a really nice time, yeah, yeah crazy things, yeah. yeah. Um, well, out of those teammates, then I was just wondering if you could sort of sort of tell us who's who would you say is technically the greatest player you played with. <sighs> Not necessarily at Swansea. It could be yeah, at Swansea across but across the career. across the, you know your career. Now, it, it, look if if um, uh, yeah, I play with the with the national team. You know, uh, the on the tw- mm. uh, on the eighteens, on the nineteen, on the twenty ones. I play there with the likes of Arjen Robbe, Rafael van der Vaart, uh, Wesley Snyder. Uh, those, are, wow. those are great. Those are great players, of course. And um, uh, but uh, to, to to work in daily base, you know, with players. I should be say I think Leon Britton because with wow. his uh, yeah yeah with his uh, um, you know he got great ability on the feet and um, good mentality uh, he can always make a step further you know he, he during his uh, career he was always getting better better and better until the latest uh, later season when he was there at Swansea so no I think I think Leon Britton it's maybe a bit uh, not yeah, for 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 me, he's a special player. Yes, and I played yeah. better, maybe with with more famous players, um, uh, but I think he was uh, he was yeah he was a really good and also Jordi Gomez I think. Yeah. Oh, I love Jordi Gomez. Jo- I, I, I love, remember Jordi. I yeah. love Jordi Gomez. What a player! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, you 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 mentioned like the the sort of more technically gifted players, but who was I? I got a question. You know, it's kind of like a double headed question. Mm-hmm. Who was the player you learned the most from, and who was the manager you learned the most from? Um, the manager is definitely Roberto Martinez. Um, oh. uh, everything happened for me at Swansea, you know. In in, in those, yeah, uh, I, I've been uh, you know injured, uh, re- yeah, really soon, you know. For how do you call it? Uh, quick after two years, I get I get injured, but um, um, I learned the most at personal. And, and and tactical, te- you know, technical uh, uh, things in, in football uh, from Roberto Martinez. You know, just uh, just the mindset about football, learning things about food, uh, learning things about getting around to the pitch. Uh, how uh, yeah, how how you live your life. You know, there's yeah. and uh, he always say he always say a thing, and we make a joke of it always. But but it was it was a real good thing. He said, uh, uh, "Don't play for the money, but play for the medals." And I think that was a good, uh, yeah. I think was a was a good saying for him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. that should be a uh, more players in the modern game could uh, perhaps yeah. uh, agreed take a bit of wisdom from Roberto there. Yeah, yeah. And the best and the player I learned the most of, um, yeah, I think it was it was a guy uh, at Ado Den Haag, Raymond Atterveld. He played for Wolverhampton also. Uh, I learned, yeah, I learned the most at getting getting more. Uh, how do you call that? Uh, as a, yeah, more adult in in, in playing. Oh, yeah, you grew, you I, grew more yeah, mature. Yes, yes, yes. I, I was seventeen years old. I, I joined first team at Ado Den Haag, and uh, I came in the game, and he was all the game sh- uh, shouting at me and uh, 
give a smack on my head, you know, if I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, and the, 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 the play I, 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 uh, like, like Gary Monk, you know? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah see, the, there was a, also, a, yeah, a part. We, we had a huddle before the game and he always say, yeah, really words to the players that, that, that give you spirit, you know? Uh, yeah, and I never, I never had it in in Holland. So I'm, I'm guessing that if Gary Monk was such a leader, so when he was appointed manager after Michael Laudrup left, that was that just not a surprise to you? Did you always think he was going to go down the route of managing? Yes, yes, because he he got the abilities. But the thing is, if you are getting manager, um, you have to cope. With, you know, you have to, you have a different mindset as a player. So uh, w- one one thing is good that you have uh, that you know what a player think you know uh, yeah. what a player want if you if you've been if you've been in that situation by yourself as a coach um, but uh, yeah for Gary yeah he, he did a really good job at Swansea of course mm-hmm. and I think he had to stay a little bit longer um, but yeah it's it's it, it's difficult you know if you get uh, good offers from other clubs. And he's he, he come out Southampton, I think. Yeah, I think it's always difficult. Um, uh, you just ask me, do you want to be a manager at, at Swansea City? If I had the papers and if I had to work really hard, I yeah, I I I think I don't want to be a manager to be honest for Swansea because I love that club so much. The people, yeah, it's stupid to say about myself, but I think the people love me also. Yeah, and you can do only 100%. wrong. Right? You can do wrong if you get kicked out. Yeah, it's it's, it's uh, yeah. yeah, it's difficult to to yeah. Uh, then you lose then you lose the feeling for the club, you know. It, yeah, yeah. You, you've seen it this season with like Frank Lampard at Chelsea. I mean, yeah. and and two years ago as well with Frank Lampard at yeah. Chelsea. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, and probably two years in the future with Frank Lampard at Chelsea. Yeah, um, but yeah, yeah, there's a big big risk, big risk. Would you would you want to come back as like a coach then rather than like sort of? Yeah, I like like Aaron, Alan Curtis. Alan yeah. Curtis is yeah. the best, best job in the world, and he's the best person for that job. Also, you know what he's doing at the club uh, in in the past, and um, everybody loves him. Every player loves him. All, all the supports, everybody in town lo- loves him. You know, and he's a great guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, something I, like I, that. Really nice. I really do think there's a role for you at the Swan somewhere. I feel like as, even if it's like in an academy team, in a, a like a backroom coaching team, somewhere like that. I feel like there is one hundred percent. Yeah, because... let's make it happen. Yeah, yeah I feel like we have to. I like to play, I like to uh, work with uh, with uh, young talents. You know, like yeah. just n- nearly to the first team. Like like Joe Allen was 17 years old when I arrived at Swansea, and uh, I, I watched the game against Blackpool at home. The last season, last game of the season. You know, I was yeah. on the floor in the stadium watching the game, and after that, I had a conversation with uh, Martinez, and he asked me, "Who's the man of the match for you at this game?" I said. Uh, and the little guy who came in, uh, Joe Allen, and <laughs> I, th- I think he's going to be a good player. And uh, we were on the same level about that. Um, so and and then I, I came at Swansea, and the guys there, you know, and I, I, I never had boot boys, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was with my boots after the training, and Joe Allen and another player come to me. Can we be your boot boy? I said, boot boy. So I ask in in the Dutch language, and door was to freeze. So what is a what is a boot boy doors? He said uh, they want to clean your uh, boots uh, every <laughs> time. So in, in Holland, never gonna happen. But that uh, you know the mentality of the young players. I I, I don't know if it's still that, that way, but the discipline and the man- mentality of the players are always respectful to the other uh, older players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, hundred percent. I've got again. It's kind of a question where this will hark back to when you were sort of playing across the board. Who was the best trainer when when you were playing? Who was the hardest working in training? Um, uh, what, what do you mean uh, uh, um, as a teammate? Yeah, as a teammate. When you were training, like going onto the field, the training field in the week, who would always work the hardest in training? Who was like the last person out there? Who was the first person out there? Ah, uh, um, I think Darren Bradley was always working hard. And wow, but the last person of exercising, I, I was always. Yeah, after the training, I was always there with Andy Robinson, mm, okay. um, uh, shooting on. on we, we always looking for goalkeepers after the training because they always <laughs> want to go inside. Doris so didn't we, want to stay. 
There was no, he was a lazy. He was so lazy. <laughs> <laughs> who, who was the laziest out of all of them? The laziest, oh, um, I think uh, Jason Scotland, definitely. Jason Scotland. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, I gotta put it in the charge in one moment. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. That's noise, fine. No noise, problem. Noise, noise. No, no problem. problem. A little send him off exclusive. Yeah, Jason I know. Scotland. I feel... Lazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm back again. But no, 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 no. The, I had a the, was a was a time that uh, was Prozone. We had Prozone, uh, the satellite in the in the in space. Uh, what's the game? Uh, what's what's the players doing? You know, sure. what side you walk and yeah, and the yeah. distance and the distance they also count. And uh, there was one game. Uh, uh, so like uh, the midfielders always uh, yeah, run about uh, 14, uh, 14 kilometer. A game, so that's a lot in Holland. Mm. Is average average is eleven or twelve. So um, um, and then there was one uh, game. Uh, there was uh, uh, Jason Scotland in nineteen minutes. Ninety minutes, a full game. He was running. Uh, he had run four point seven kilometer. <laughs> <laughs> he Dor- didn't even get to five k. He couldn't no. even make five k. And Doris was on seven point two, and he was the goal. <laughs> 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 uh, we had we had a big love, but do, but to be honest, Jason scored two times, and he was really important. Was uh, but he, he was the laziest, definitely. Yeah. He, he he picked me. We, we we live in the same estate, and he picked me up. So my missus had the car. Uh, you know when when I was at the training. So Jason picked me up every day. And he, every day we came uh, late on the on the training. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes, even and- even to go to training, he was late. Yes, and he was saying, "Fucking hell, man, fair man, shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, why, why, why we have to train? You know, like that." And <laughs> I, I still have contact with him, so he's he's a funny guy. Did you get uh, fined as well? Then, when you were late, did you get in trouble as well? No, we don't get fined because uh, oh. it was, um, we always sneaked in uh, around the back. <laughs> oh, oh, really? <laughs> yes, and 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 our first season, we didn't had a. A training go out uh, from ourselves, so we we went to Fairwood. It was only grass, not as yeah. it is like now, but then it was only grass. And then we we also trained in Singleton Park in Swansea. Yeah. Uh, we trained at the university, so every time every time we had different uh, places. So we say yeah, we did we, we couldn't find it or. Uh, All or right, <laughs> all right, we went to the wrong one. Yes, 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 yes. So no, no, no. That's a. Uh, Jason was delicious, yeah. But uh, no, yeah, nice. He's a good guy. Yeah. Um, well, well. I, I, I want to know what personally for you was your career highlight. So that could be like the greatest, what you felt was your best game. Um, Like for me, and I think for a lot of Swans fans, that goal against Preston stands yeah. out. Um, yeah. uh, what, what would you say is your greatest moment of your career? Uh, my greatest moment, I think... Um, the, yeah, the, there are a few, but uh, the uh, yeah, the, the Preston game. We we started the game off really bad, and uh, we we I, I heard we never win at uh, Deepdale. Uh, it was the was was the stadium, big guys. Uh, it was a little cold, and uh, it was a tough game. Everybody was uh, tired from the from from the travel. Uh, you know, the, the to to the game. Um, yeah, it was a busy week, I think. And then we played, and it didn't feel that we we gonna do anything. And one of a sudden, I was thinking by myself, I was a little bit irritated that nobody was moving. And uh, I get the ball from Gorka Pintado, and I thought, uh, yeah, I shoot the ball for you know towards the goal. Uh, a little bit angry, and then pop, he goes in, and then uh, <laughs> yeah, and th- that was maybe a thing like uh, what you never expected to win. And then after that, I had a, a pass. To Jordi Gomez, and everybody thought that I played Guillaume Bauza, uh, but I played the ball hard, and everybody was sure. But the, the it was on purpose to 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 Jordi Gomez, and we get a penalty. That so that was a yeah diff- difficult game, a really nice game. But the the the, the game against uh, Burnley at home, we we played, uh, we drew the last, uh, and then the last minute, I Martinez told me go forward, and then. Uh, yeah, I, I that was an ugly goal, but uh, uh, I broke my nose. I broke my nose also because when I was scoring, I felt on uh, uh, a guy put his elbow in my face, and then oh, I really? cracked my nose. And then 
Yeah, but th- th- that was uh, yeah all, all nice games to to be honest. But th- those two games are for me uh, uh, that uh, if, if you're looking to lose, if you think there's not nothing we can get out of that game, uh, and still we get something out of the game, you know, th- those are those games. But I didn't have a, I I I, I wish I I could say uh, the the final in the in, in Wembley, but I was injured. It was mm-hmm. if I still look at it. Uh, it's 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 yeah. Um, uh, if you see the the people, how big the stadium is, and the and the and the atmosphere, I, I didn't feel anything about it. I I only was happy to, that 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 we get promoted. But yeah, that that was a, a difficult uh, a difficult time for me. Yes. Yeah. I you know, imagine. out of all the players in that squad, genuine hand on heart. I even said this to my mother actually before we came up to record this. I said hand on heart. You were probably one of the only players in that full squad that was Premier League quality at yeah, the right. time. Hundred percent, one hundred percent Premier League quality. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, but no, yeah, the, 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 I think uh, it's a puzzle. You know, a football team, uh, a squad is a puzzle. You know, and everything have to fit together. I, I was not the, the player if I didn't have Dennis Lawrence or Gary Monk or Alan Tate mm-hmm. behind me. Uh, Doris and uh, you know and on the, on the midfield as I said we had Leon Britton uh, um, you know Darren Petty was always running 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 he did a lot of dirty things in the, in the game you know and so we could play football so uh, yeah. yeah yeah. so I think it's it's a positive if, yeah it's, it's but thank you for, for saying that yeah thank you no I, I, oh, no, I absolutely I completely 100%. agree you, you look you look at that squad and it was for me, that is just such a special squad. That was mm. the squad that I just grew up with, and I, I fell in love with the Swans with that squad yeah. that you were yeah. part of. And if you look at the squad today, and obviously there's there'll be kids growing up feeling the same way about that squad as as we did about yours. Who out of those players that are playing today for the Swans would you most have wanted to play with? Who, who, who would you want? Who, who would you have wanted in that dressing room and out on that field with you? Yeah, you it, it's difficult. There are not names in 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 the team now. It's just the captain, you know. Uh, yeah. He's a really good player. He's a solid player, you know. Yeah. Um, um, but at that time, I think, uh, yeah, not because he's Dutch, but Joel Peru is. Uh, He's a yeah. quality, quality player, quality player, definitely. And they asked me before he came to Swansea uh, what I think about him, and uh, it's not that I that I was making a, a point that they that they say we take him, but um, yeah, he, he's he's a, he's a great player, and I hope he I hope he's gonna stay. Totally, so, so, I think we all do. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's, that, 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 that have to be, you know, uh, the, the main thing. You keep you keep your best players and adapt some new players on it. And But as I said, it's difficult these days because of uh, a lot of money involved. So if you yeah. get a club with bigger money and, uh, you know, London or, uh, you know, Manchester, in the neighbor, you know, in that area, yeah, everybody, sure. likes to, everybody likes to go to London. To be honest, I, when I came to Swansea, I thought, I go to Swansea to make a step, but <clears throat> no, I, I realized really soon, uh, really quick, after one season, it was Derby County coming to me to to to, to join them, and I had a English agent involved, um, and then uh, he out of nothing he, he put in a transfer request without asking me, yeah, and then I said straight away when the transfer request was there. I went to the club. I said it was not coming for me. I go and I go nowhere. It was for me, you know, difficult because a lot of interest, uh, you know, came around for to, for me. But I was settled. My children liked it in uh, in in Swansea. Uh, my girlfriend liked it uh, not in Swansea, and uh, she was already gone. So um, uh, the oh. most important thing is uh, that that my boys were, were were liking it. You know, we had people like. Uh, a uh, family I met there. So Wayne, Anita, Sean, and Adam are the two boys, mm. um, uh, and they, and they are they they take care of my my two children when I was uh, when I was playing football or in the training pitch. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that was that's the, 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 yeah. That's uh, that was the most important thing. I, I it it feels like home there, and every time I go there, um, uh, every time I go there, it it's it's just for me. 
uh, really, yeah, it, f- it feels like home, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you've answered my next question, Ferry, because I was going to say, obviously, you're held in such high regard still at Swansea. I mean, we we watched you as we were growing up and you you were part of that iconic side. But it, it is the the club is is more than a club for you, I'm assuming. Like you said, it's family and, uh, you know, you, you still follow the club. Um, is it... Did you... I, I suppose you sort of answered it. Did you expect that when you joined Swansea, or did you did you know did you know about Swansea when you joined us? Um, yes, I know about Swansea because we had a, a guy at the club was a big supporter, uh, John van Zwieden, yeah. and he, he was one of the directors of the club at the moment. And, uh, and there was some interest from Aberdeen and and two clubs from Spain and, and Switzerland. Um, and then uh, Swansea came up. Uh, the guy, a Dutch guy, came to me. So Ferry, I want to have uh, the first Dutch player at Swansea City. So I said, okay. Uh, we played already a few times in preseason against them, and uh, I get invited. And I was, uh, yeah, I was, I was straight away in love. I uh, at the city, um, yeah, the stadium. Uh, I even saw palm trees in uh, in Mumble. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I told everybody, do you know you have palm trees in uh, in, in uh, Swansea? So, yeah, no, it's a really beautiful uh, area also, and yeah, that uh, I, w- I was there with my with my um, uh, with my girlfriend in 2019, just the two of us. Um, we are now five years together, so it was, uh, and we we are hoping, uh, you know, when when we get some a little bit older, if there is a, if if we go to another country to live, it's it's gonna be Swansea. Uh, and we, we, love love, we can't wait to have you back. back. Yeah, we yeah, can't we'd love wait to have you back. Um, Ferry, it's been an absolute pleasure chatting to you. Um, we are. I mean, it, it's 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 no. I'm. It's, it's yeah. this has been fantastic. I'm star I just struck. had a great time. Yeah, struck. I really I am. am. Um, just just quickly, uh, any predictions for next year for the Swans? What are you What are you thinking? Are you thinking we can we can push for promotion? Uh, push for those playoffs, <laughs> or do you think it heavily depends on who we bring in as as manager? Um, it's just, uh, it's it's a few points, of course. It's I think uh, if the club uh, keep the best players, you know, the important players, the key players, and get more experience in, um, I think they will, they will get into in, into the players definitely. If 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 they do the same thing uh, as now, um, yeah, I, it's difficult to say. You know, I think Swansea have to be. Uh, um, how do you call it? A, a stable team, you know. Like, yeah, uh, you you don't have to be, go too early to the Premier League because you you can you, yeah next season you can be out already. So yeah, yeah, we we were ready. You know, we had a big uh, uh, build up to 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 the Premier League. You know, we came in the right time and and we, and we stayed there. Uh, I still say we, but uh, yeah, I, I love that. By the way, I absolutely yeah. love that. By the way. Okay, now we we stay there a long time, of course, you know, uh, and then yeah, it's, uh, so then you have a season that goes really bad. But uh, I think you you don't need to get to to, uh, to soon promote it uh, just on the right time. And if next next season is the right time, it should be fantastic, of course. Yeah, well, fingers That's crossed. Also. We don't That's love also. it. Ferry, it's been an absolute pleasure chatting to you. Thank you, you. So uh, thank much. you so so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank it you has also. been the best way to end the season for us. And uh okay. yeah, thank you all for listening as well. Thank you for putting up with our dulcet tones from uh from August until now. We'll be back in the summer with our Premier League pre-season previews. Uh we're gonna have 20 fans back as of, as we do every year, one from every Premier League side. Uh, so keep an eye out for that and we're going to do a little championship preview as well just uh, just for the Swans Alex uh, another year done another year done Ferry Border thanks again yes. and uh, drop the mic we're out yeah we're out okay. done <laughs> <Ta-ra>. <laughs>